Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore another custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8 and this time we have superior OS extended version based on Android 14. So I have reviewed few ROMs based on Android 14 and most of them based on AOSP and I'm pretty bored about the custom ROMs nowadays because most of the ROMs actually coming for our Redmi Note 8 or Redmi Note 6 Pro, most of them actually based on AOSP. So I'm really looking for ROMs which are based on one UI or other based like Oxygen OS or like that. But there is nothing available like that actually. But as for AOSP based ROM, they are doing pretty well. And this tank, the ROM we are trying out, that also doing pretty well. And I've been trying this ROM for a few days now. And I haven't faced any major issue with this ROM. And but as as you know, as a custom ROMs, custom ROM does have few legs here and there so we will talk about all those things all the feature of this rom so let's go and check out first of all as we have unlocked the device as you can see we have booted up let's go and check settings and usually what we get actually with most of the osp based rom about phone is on in the bottom of the device so here we got a tag here with the name of the device if we tap here and we can see all the details of the device as you can see the layout is pretty nice and I really like that the way the UI looks the setting UI only have a little tweak other than that all other things are pretty much similar to other Android 14 based ROM so going with this device as you can see based on Android 14 and it's based on Android 14 as you can see here and there are a few things I have to mention so if I go to device status maybe we can see which is I don't really know how to check that one. If I go to device name, maybe. Nope. Cannot. Okay, Android version, maybe you can see here. So, Jinko did me note it as in this superior uh, OS version. So, this is a beta actually. It is not really a, a proper OS yet. And the uh, developer did say that there will be few lags here and there. As such, I did see few lags here and there, but not really a major box, which will make the ROM unusable. It is pretty good ROM actually. I will say pretty even better than the Evolution X for now. So it's as you can see the security patch level is January 5, 2024. So it's pretty new build actually. It's like the, the, this month is the build date of this ROM actually. And Android 14 version as you can see if you tap here you can see the Android 14 logo. That's all thing going on. And going back to the other things. So as you can see here the setting UI is pretty same. And if you go to superior lab, you will get all kind of customization, whatever you like. If you want to change those things, you can change here. And if you go to miscellaneous section, we do have like unlimited photo storage that is available. And there is an option called smart pixel, which turn on the pixel. But in my case, I did try this, but it didn't work actually. I did not notice any kind of uh, like, a, like a reducing of the pixel. Maybe it works only for the OLED panels. Uh, as you can see here, burn-in protection for OLED panels. Those are things available here. So those that thing is maybe for OLED panel. For IPS panel, maybe it doesn't work. And you can see a few other things here. There are tons of features actually. If you really want to like, dig into it, you can dig into it. There are a lot of them. And I did do a few tweaks for as my liking. I changed the battery icon and the... Uh, and, uh, clock position and clock things so all those things I did and going with the wallpaper like display section all those things like brightness level and other things adaptive brightness all those things working perfectly fine and dark theme also available and you can use pure dark theme too although it doesn't matter for this kind of devices because it is having an IPS panel and going to the wallpaper section so this device did not come with a lot of wallpapers and only one paper one wallpaper is available for this device it's a superior X and I did install like wallpaper, uh, Google wallpaper application to in it, like apply wallpaper. So in this wallpaper I have applied directly from uh, Google wallpaper section. And Android 14 based ROM, they uh, introduced a feature called AI based wallpaper. That feature is not available in this ROM. Maybe in the proper build you will get that. Going with the other things, battery section have a lot of interesting thing. So the UI is pretty nice as you can see here. You can see the cycle, you can see the capacity, you can see the temperature. That's a pretty nice thing actually going on. 
and there is new feature available and this feature also available in our evolution x rom but i did not mention that so first charging if you turn off you can you can write uh, if you want to reduce the first charging you can do that and i did try that and it, the feature does work perfectly fine yesterday i like i used to like charge my device in like about 200 ma and it takes about 10 hours to full like fully charge the device so the feature is uh, working perfectly fine it is it is pretty good feature if you like charge your device uh, overnight so you can like reduce the max current and you can put it like 300 to 400 and it will take 6 to 7 hours to fulfill so by the time you wake up your device will be fully charged and one more thing about this kind of feature is that if you charge your device slowly uh, your device will heat up less and also the battery will last a little bit long uh, so in that case I think this is a win-win feature and going with other things also you can do the charging control if you want to like customly schedule the charging and also limit the charging up to 80 percent usually i charge my device up to 80 percent and you can do that too so many features are viable for the battery actually and the battery backup is really good on this device actually so yesterday when i was like browsing and watching youtube video on this device about i got i have used 40 percent of the charge and i got about three and a half hours of skin on time so that's a quite good battery backup i will say although i was not doing any heavy task i just watching youtube so actually it did perform pretty well like three and a half hours skin on time for this device after four years of like using this device it's really good i will say and going with the sound and other things those actually are working as you can see and as i said the ui is pretty nice on this device and one more thing about this device if you go to security section we are getting uh what it call we are getting a lot of things here the fingerprint does work and so does the face unlock so if i tap here face unlock does work as you can see here it is a little bit slow but it does work perfectly fine as let me show you so it does work so it's working perfectly fine Face unlock and fingerprint unlock does work perfectly fine. I haven't faced any kind of issue. And there are nothing much going on with the setting. Now come to the UI. So we do have, as we get, we can other Android 14 based ROM. And we can actually change uh, like how many icons do we want and other things from the superior customization setting. So going with the application, it did not come with a lot of application as you can see here. GFs came with it so you don't need to flash gf separately on this rom so we do have miui camera ability and also i did install gfs here and the safety net pass uh, so you can use bank apps and other things without any issue i haven't rooted this rom yet i will root and i will restore all my application later on and also a few more feature available like we do get dolby atmos this one is ported from um, OnePlus devices, so it does work perfectly fine. And also we have game space, so that's also working. And one more thing I really like about this ROM, it does come with the music player, which is BIA music. Usually I do use this music player, actually it's quite good music player, rather than other things. So that's all about this ROM, actually phone call and other things working perfectly fine. As for SP ROM, everything working fine. And in the Play Store, um, I did find the lag, as I have mentioned in my Pixel OS. So the Play Store is a little bit choppy. Rather than that, everything working perfectly fine. Like I did install a few more things and try out everything. And also in the setting panel, we do have like I have a uh, Xiaomi parts option. And one really good thing about this ROM actually is that after setting up uh, the display calibration setting, I did not get any kind of uh, skin retention problem on this device on this ROM actually I have watched YouTube video over three hours of uh, but still I could not able to find any kind of retention so quite really good ROM for this device actually and also if you install any kind of like Gcam you will get all the camera support those are working perfectly fine you will not have any kind of issue even uh, 48 megapixel the camera is having issues some now 
because of maybe I have it opened the G apps. So, okay, now it will work perfectly fine as you can see. Camera is working. So, 48 megapixel also does work actually. I did try that. So, as you can see here, and it does work. It's a little bit slow outside, but it is pretty much usable. So that's all about Super Air OS Extended. I will put the link in the description below. If you really want to flash, you can flash. I would say this one is one of the best ROM based on Android 14 for Redmi Note 8 right now. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.